Hello and welcome to the third uh, part of Meat Guide. Today I will tell you about brewery conversion rates, about what does it give to you when you upgrade your brewery, about all the bonuses to honey and meat production, about built items and a bit of practical uh, tips, for example how to check how many troops can you hold in your castle. And now let's go to bonuses you get from upgrading brewery. So your brewery has 15 levels. It can be upgraded for uh, construction and for upgrade tokens. So let's maybe go back to level first and I will explain to you two things. Okay, so basically uh, a brewery on higher level. Okay, let's go into here. A brewery on level 14, which I have now, let's set it to 10%, yes? And on 10%, it takes 28,000 food and 9,000 honey. But in my outpost, where brewery is only at level second, as you can see, on 10% it will uh, use only 5,000 of food and 3,000 of meat, honey, sorry. So uh, this means that if your brewery is upgraded higher, this um, every 10% will produce more uh, meat because of using more food and more honey. This is how it works. Okay, so now the second difference when upgrading your brewery, and this is the like whole key point of upgrading it, um, you have exchange or conversion rates, yes, uh, food to meat conversion rate and honey to meat conversion rate. This is very important when producing meat for your soldiers because um, when you upgrade your brewery, first at level, I think seven, yes, Honey to meat conversion rate goes from two per one, uh, sorry, from three per one to two per one. So this means that on level six, your brewery will take, uh, will use um, free, will convert free honey per hour, uh, free, free honey maybe per uh, free honey to one uh, meat. So this is how will it work. And if you upgrade your brewery to uh, second uh, level seven, it will use two honey to produce one meat. Uh, next on level nine, it will uh, change the conversion rate uh, in food from four to one, uh, from five to one to four to one. So it lowers the food conversion, as you can see, um, the conversion rate by one in food. So you it uses four food to one meat. And then on level, uh, yeah, 14, it changes both food conversion and honey uh, conversion. So it's free food uh, converted to one meat and one honey converted to one meat. And this is why you need to upgrade your brewery at least to level, level nine, but it's, it is suggested to upgrade it to level 14 to have like a uh, full experience of producing meat and having a lot of soldiers because this will allow you to obviously keep more, more soldiers, more uh, stronger soldiers in your castles with the same amount of food production. So this is very important. Have this in mind. Okay, so now let's go to all the bonuses which you can uh, get to like maximize your um, honey and your meat production. When you go inside your brewery, you can see an information icon and we, uh, when you can press on it, uh, you can see what is your basic meat production per hour. And this means that um, your food and your honey gets converted to not 266 thousand but it gets converted to 28,000 but this 28,000 of basic meat production is boosted and it is boosted by many many different uh, things let's talk about all of them production bonus from public order this is from your decorations obviously production bonus from overseer so this is also a important thing okay so basically I will just quickly mention that you can buy them at the king's market so you go to specialist tab and you can see two new overseers. Basically, this is for meat production and this is for honey production. So you can uh, you actually need to buy both of them if you are uh, going into the meat production. You need to have them constantly because they give a, a huge uh, bonus to your production, both to honey and meat. And they cost you rubies. Uh, for seven days, you can buy them for 563 if you already have them for seven plus days, because if not, it, it costs you 625 and right now in the game there is no discount for them so you don't 
you don't need to wait for in this count because it's not gonna appear anytime anytime soon uh, because this is new into the game so you just have to buy them for the full price and then there's production bonus from buildings as i uh, just mentioned uh, from um, from barrel workshop basically this uh, only barrel workshop will show up here as a, a bonus from a building next we have uh, the bonus from build items i will tell you about them in a second as a different video part you have bonus from your coat of arms symbols this is also very important when mid infrastructure was introduced to the game we also received a new coat of arms symbols they basically can boost your honey production and this looks like a bee this um, this symbol looks like a bee uh, for all percentages and we can also boost meat production. This looks like a like a like Viking helmet, yes. So we can took uh, we have two kinds of um, coat of arm symbols, and they have uh, two percent. Then they have four percent, eight percent, eleven, fifteen, and twenty. Of course, you can wear this as a double icon. So this has two percent, but you have one big. So it appears as four uh, percent. This works just the same as a uh, foot coat of arm symbol. So uh, this. When you have a lot, uh, like uh, four or more castles of your castles uh, with meat production and only with meat units, you may think about buying uh, some meat production um, coat of arms symbol. For example, this one, but of course, yes, this costs you uh, a lot of rubies. And you have bonus from your castle and equipment if it has a, a bonus to public order. Okay, so the one thing which isn't mentioned here, and as you can see, I have brewery on 30% and the brewery shows 266,000, but my meat production is 307,000. So what is wrong here? Basically, this amount of uh, meat production in brewery doesn't uh, take into consideration the bonus from your research tower. So in your research tower, in the second advanced research tab, on the left side, you can find two researchers um, connected with honey and with mid. Uh, bonus to honey plus 20%, it has five levels. And bonus to, um, to mid plus 20%, it has five levels as well. Cost of upgrading this is 180 million coins and cost of upgrading this is uh, 100 million, 180 million coins as well. So this, uh, summing this up, it takes you 360 million coins to um, to complete all the all these researches and as you can see the difference is pretty high so it is very important to complete this research okay let's now talk about build items because they are also a key point in meat infrastructure and they are very very important you can have uh, build items in apiaries you can have them in brewery you can have them in these two buildings which i don't have unlocked which is uh, honey garden and barrel workshop so in this two as well okay so uh, first build items which uh, boost your honey production per hour as you can see there is two slots a primary slot and a relic slot so the primary slot and relic slot can be used both at the same time with two different build items let's see what can we construct for brewery uh, sorry for apiary and you have to, uh, you need to have this in your mind that all these build items cost you uh, these resources, resources from beyond the horizon. So you need to have them in your uh, storage to create the build items. Okay, so for, for normal uh, meat for APRs, you have two kind of build items for primary slot, which gives you plus 15 honey production to basic production and which gives you 1100 flat bonus so it just gives you 1100 per hour uh, but not to not to basic yes but to to this uh, like uh, final production yes so this is how it works and as you can see in ipr we have basic production we have productivity and we have honey per hour which is multiplied this uh, times this plus the flat bonus from build item Basically, the build item with flat bonus is way better because it gives you a lot more. But if you want, you can have uh, both of them in all of your APRs uh, because you can hold uh, two different build items in APR at the same time. Okay, so now uh, build items for brewery. There is also two kinds for primary slot and from relic slot. And you can create them for uh, Beyond the Horizons resources as well. 
there's a primary slot build item which gives you meat production bonus to your basic meat production which is 30 35 this is not a lot this is very very small amount and this is not worth it do not create it and the second thing is plus 5100 flat bonus to meat production per hour this is a bit better because uh, it allows you this has a one uh, very important perk. You can have your brewery set to 0% and still be producing 5000 meat per hour. This is very nice because you don't even uh, have to, to, you don't even need to have any apiary in your castle. You just can uh, build one brewery and uh, give it this build item. And then this allows you to hold two and a half, two and a half thousand units. For example, defenders to defend the flank stronger than uh, your uh, ruby units which consume food and are uh, weaker than mid units, mid defenders. So this is a more important build item for brewery. Okay, so now build items for um, honey gardens which allow you to make your honey storage bigger. They basically give you a storage bonus to uh, honey and there's one build item with a huge bonus in the start but small after upgrading. Uh, which is um, which I should suggest to you if you don't have a lot of these resources and there is second um, build item which gives you a very small amount but it uh, it rises significantly after every upgrade up to 175,000 honey storage capacity you can have both of them in your um, um, honey gardens as well in the same time okay and now the most important in my opinion build item for meat uh, for for storage bonus, which is meat, uh, relic meat storage blueprint uh, for, for build item. So you uh, you basically get 32,500 meat storage capacity uh, with this build item in relic slot in your barrel workshop and you can have also this, this second uh, build item for meat storage. So you can have both of them. And have in mind that if you want to upgrade them to higher levels, you need to make researches in your research tower. They are here. So you need to research this, 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 and this, uh, and uh, yeah, to create these build items. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. It will be published tomorrow around 8 p.m. So stay tuned and you can share your thoughts in comments, leave a like if the video was helpful to you, or leave a dislike if it wasn't uh, helpful to you you can leave a feedback uh, in the comment as well. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye.